Okay, so I was speaking about the shielded and unshielded. Now, the reason why the shielded was invented was the transmission of this data can be interrupted by electromagnetic waves or signals, meaning there can be interference in your transmission. And when this interference comes, it's going to disrupt your transmission to the extent that the data you are sending, you will, you, you will pass it from one and maybe you are sending a video of one minute. You are sending a video of one minute. Now, when it gets in contact with these electromagnetic signals, the video will get to the person, then the video is left with 30 seconds. So it caused a whole lot of uh, interference. So this caused the invention of the shielded, the shielded one, so that this one is copper. This copper prevents the interference or uh, the, the penetration of these electromagnetic signals to your data. Please do get it now. So this one prevents electromagnetic signals. So when you are even you are going to buy these network cables, the shouldered one are very expensive than the unshouldered one because of this advantage. You get it now. The person who asked the question. Yes. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so that's why they, they, they brought the shielded so to, to, to avoid this um, interference. Now we have network topology. Why network topology? The network you will be building, your practical, it should have a topology. What is a topology? This is the arrangement. This is the arrangements of the nodes and the cables. In, in in a network design so how you are going to arrange your network the 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 the, the software we are going to use will allow you to arrange your nodes your your cables your routers how you as a network designer or a network expert what design do you want to use for your network we have the star we have three so the star the ring and the bus the star the ring yes the star the ring topology and the bus topology so the star the star the star topology oh they didn't bring any picture here let me try and get a picture for you the star topology get a picture so that i can show you how a star topology looks like. All right, so star topology. Let me use this one. Okay, so so this is a star topology. In a star topology, we have the main server there in the middle, or you can have your server in the middle, or your workstation in the middle, then your clients or your nodes are tapping from it. This is a star topology. So when we start our practicals, it's up to you to, to decide which type of topology you will use for your network. So this is a star topology. Okay, so let's move to, to the next. Um, so that's the star topology. We have a star topology, we have ring topology, and we have bars topology. 
So as in a star topology, each node has a dedicated set of wires connecting to a central network hub. So you see each of them has wires that connected to a central hub. So they are all tapping from the central hub here. So that makes it a star topology. Each of the computers, okay. yes, have a, a separate wires connecting to a, a central hub. This is a star topology. Okay, let's let's move to ring topology. Ring in ring topology. Let me find a picture for you. Data path travel in the single direction around the ring let me let me find a picture so you can understand Okay, so this is a ring topology. Let me share my screen. So this is a ring topology. A ring topology. Whereby data packets are traveled in a single direction around the ring from one one network device to the next. You can see each device acts as a repeater, or meaning it generates the signal. So it moves in one direction alongside the ring. Whereas, so, sir, yes, please. Look, look, look like the cyclical nature of the flow. That means one will be stronger than the other, or they will all have an equal charge of flow of uh, the data or something. Yes. Since when, when, when you look at the star, the star typology, they, they have different cables. That means their transmission could be quite uh, equal. But here, yes. the ring is cool. Yes. So in the ring, some will get before some. Do you get it? So in, yes, please. Yes. In the ring, some the, the closer to the to the source the higher you get it so it moves from a before it goes to b before it goes to c so if if b hasn't gotten it there is no way a c will get it in the ring topology okay the last one here is bus topology bus topology let me find a picture for you to the bus topology. Um, okay, I think this one you you really understand it. I there. So the last time our our example or the network, the guy used we used as an a, a, as an example formed under you you see it before. You quite remember I show you a network, uh, or is it okay? So there's a bus topology. So you can remember this. The, this is what the network designer in our book used. Bus topology. Mm -hmm. So you have basically three. You have three types of topologies you can design in your network. So the one you prefer it's up to you, the designer. The one you... say, yes, sir. Please, so I want to ask with all these three uh, topologies, which of them is the best, or which of them are mostly used by Adico networkers? Okay, it depends on, on the organization you are building that network design for, it depends on your preference. Each of them are, are best in their situations. Yes. So the bus topology, this is what it does. 
this topology move of, uh, often serves as backbone for a network. So in some instances, so it's like attaches directly to a common cable whereby computer server peripherals, they are all in one. So this, this type of topology, we have this middle cable, this fiber cable, having everything inside. So within this fiber cable, this laptop can actually communicate with this, can fetch a data from this server, can print something here, can also communicate with this, can also communicate with this using the same fiber cable. Please, you get it. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. So each one, uh, it's, it's best in its situation. It depends on the type of network your organization wants. So you are the one who will sit down and assess it. See, okay, okay, let me use star, yeah, let me use bus, or let me use ring topology. So we have three main types. The bus, which is this one. Then we have the ring, the, the ring, the ring, which is this one. Then we have the last one as the star topology. This star topology. So it depends on you, the designer, the one you prefer and in the situation you find yourself inside. Please do you get it. Yes, please. Okay. We have something in network, it's called collisions, collisions, collisions. Let me see, let me see, collisions. Now, collisions, this happens. You see, there are rules governing the sending of packet data to avoid com conflicts or to protect data integrity. Okay, network nodes determine when the network is available for sending packets. It is possible that two nodes at different locations attempt to send data at the same time. When both pieces are transferring a packet to the network at the same time, a collision will result. Right, so this is it. We have a server there. Then this server, we have these two nodes trying to send a data at the same time to this server using the same, let me say, channel. There is going to be a collision. Okay. Collision can also result for one. You see, whenever you are, you are, well, let, let's take this, um, network bandwidth. So this one we are bringing to these uh, internet service providers, network bandwidth. Now in a situation whereby multiple, multiple uh, people are accessing the same resource file at the same time using the same network, for example, let me give you this analysis. Those in the University of Ghana, when we open the residential system, then everyone is trying to assess it. If you've noticed something, those not on campus will get before those on campus. Why? Now, see, we've, we've opened, a, 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 it's a data it's a file it's a file we've opened then about three thousand or four thousand students are trying to assess that particular file now you can see about two thousand students are using the student wi-fi at the same time the same let me see 
Now Mosley is open at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m., you see, 2,000 students are using the same student Wi-Fi. It means it's overloaded. It means the same bandwidth is being shared by 2,000 students who, who are going to access one particular file. Thereby, it will cause jamming. So this one won't get out for this one to enter there. We are all at the login stage. So you, you continue to be logged out or you continue not to enter. Meanwhile, someone outside the campus using them as a cafe network is using a different bandwidth, can just enter and go and fetch it, then go away. This is the main reason why students, when the residential system are open and you are on campus, and use the student Wi-Fi, you have a disadvantage. Those using cafe ones have more advantage over you because... Sir. Yes. Sir. Most of them, uh, in, in, in respect to the... So, ben, in respect to the uh, residential, and sometimes you not a scam because they open the, the this thing for you, the portal, and within within a second you realize that they said everything, every room is secure. I mean, more of I think it's a scam or something. <laughs> the fact is, is it is it these rooms and they are something they are they are, they put very few rooms on the internet. So the person who has a stronger network connection will go and pick it. And by the time you people, you are struggling with the same band, bandwidth, it's like this one says, I won't allow you to enter. This one also says, I won't allow you to enter. By the time one, one will decide that, okay, let me stop for the others to. By the time you enter, it is finished. Someone at the cafe has selected it and printed out some, and even going to pay. This is what happens most of the times. But the rooms that has been loaded are also very few. So that is what happens. The jamming. So one thing also, one example is also your Sakai system. The same you 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 your lecturer will open your lecturer will open an assignment in 15 minutes time and would demand everyone should do it within that 15 minutes time. It's not possible. Some will be able to do, some will be logged out and can never log in. These are all uh, uh, network knowledge uh, you should know about it. So when these things happen, as a networking student, try to use a different bandwidth don't connect to student Wi-Fi. You are all assessing, sharing the same bandwidth. You are causing collusion. You won't be allowed to fetch it. Use a separate, better to use your own bundle than go. Try and assess it. You will get an advantage over others. Please, any question? No, okay. Um, the last one we will look at today, and we will end the class and prepare for Sunday. We will and prepare for Sunday. That's our practicals. We will, we will quickly run through this. That's a network interface card. So these are basic things you'll be needing as a networking student network interface card you you need to, you need to know now you see this is what helps you to connect ethernet cable ethernet cable so you can see the ethernet cable here you can see it here the ethernet cable this is a network interface card we have hubs Routers, bridges, switches, routers. Hmm. We have something called firewall. Network firewall. This this is a whole topic on its own. I won't teach this today. It's a whole topic. I need to. In fact, 
dip you inside it because as a networking student you should be security conscious or the hackers are going to disturb you network firewall how to protect your network okay we will end the class here any questions right if there are no questions i will send the steps how to uh, configure your your the, the the software you are about to use on your various pieces those with phones be checking your slack channel from today to saturday i'll be sending you some some links to download some apps so that you can participate in the practicals coming this sunday evening yes so please prepare go and read about network protocols please go and read about them thank you for joining the class have a great evening you're welcome sir sure